What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrina1, and I want to personally welcome you to Assassin's Creed Origins, the Discovery Tour. That is right. This is something that I have been waiting for for such a long time. This is pretty much a history mode on helping everyone kind of learn the history of ancient Egypt. Uh, from what we pretty much know, obviously not everything is 100% correct, but this is the perfect tool for those of us that are just huge history buffs. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to change it to daytime, and we're going to do a tour here. Um, if this video does well, and all of you would like to see uh, all of the tours on here because you don't got a chance to do it yourself, then please let me know in the comments, like the video, share the video, and I will make sure to get all of these tours. There are a lot of them. Uh, to go into it, as you can see, there are just plenty around here in, specifically, Alexander itself. And then once you get outside of Alexandria, you can see that there's more over here in Cyrene. I mean, they're just all over from the pyramids, and I've done a few already that I live streamed over on Facebook, if you want to check those out as well. But these are going to be some videos that I'll have up for you guys on YouTube, in case you don't get a chance to see the live stream and whatnot. Separate videos um, that I'm making separately, and obviously up uploaded in the highest quality. So the one that I've chosen to do today is a very, very simple one to be the first one that you guys see. This is an introduction if you have some time, to Alexandria. Check out Alexandria. It's one of the greatest cities in antiquity. So, hopefully you guys enjoy. We're going to learn about the city of Alexandria in the Canopic Way. Uh, there isn't going to be any commentary during this because I don't feel like uh, I need to be saying anything. I need to let the game speak for itself. And hopefully you guys enjoy the tour. It's go time. Welcome to Introduction to Alexandria. <laughs> After conquering Egypt in 331 BCE, Alexander the Great decided to build a new city, which, as per his habit, he named after himself. After his death, Alexandria quickly became the capital city of the Ptolemaic Kingdom and the most important city of the Greek world. Here, <laughs> <laughs> the city was built between the Mediterranean Sea and Lake Mariotis, which resulted in Alexandria becoming a crucial cultural hub and trading center. Sumptuous buildings could be seen wherever one turned their gaze. The royal palaces, the many temples, the gymnasium, lush public gardens, and large avenues. <laughs> With its incomparable beauty and advantageous geographic location, Alexandria attracted foreigners, intellectuals, and traders. One of the most cosmopolitan cities of the ancient world, Alexandria supplanted even Athens as the most important Greek city in history. Egyptian obelisks were highly prized by Roman architects. While Roman design previously favored the use of a single monument, Egyptian obelisks tended to come in pairs and were generally located at the entrance of temples. Several ancient Egyptian obelisks are still in existence today, though many are spread out across the world in locations such as Paris, Rome, New York, and London. 
All of this shows that Alexandria was significantly influenced by the rich past of Egypt. Alexandria had several main streets. Its most famous artery was the Canopic Way. It was lined with sumptuous buildings, houses, and temples, and was roughly eight kilometers in length. This street was one of the most important shipping entrances to Alexandria, and often hosted processions and festivals. The width of the street, 30 meters, was abnormally large even by Greek standards. This is likely because the Canopic Way was made in a short span of time and based on an urban plan, as opposed to being slowly built over time as was usual for the era. The Canopic Way originated in the western cemeteries, skirted the gymnasium, and then exited the city to head east through massive doorways towards Canopus. This structure was known as the Canopic Door. And there you go, ladies and gents. That is just one tour completed. Introduction to Alexandria. And again, as you can see, there are many, many, many tours that you are able to uh, embark on. 20 specifically on the subject of Egypt, 16 on the subject of pyramids, 14 on the subject of Alexandria, 20 on daily life, and 5 on Romans. Throughout this, you can choose different characters to play as. There is no combat in this. This is, allows you to go throughout the world and just experience everything about the rich history of ancient Egypt during this time period and the time period before this game. Uh, so I again, I hope to do a lot more of these as long as you guys uh, would love to see them. I know some of you aren't going to have the chance to play the game, so I'd love to be able to show them to you, but I want to make sure that you all would love to see uh, some of these tours. This is the passport, which shows you how many you've completed. You can see that I've done a little bit, um, and it took me two hours to do all the ones that you saw. So even though what we just showed was a very, very small sliver and a very tiny one, um, you can, uh, some of them are very, very long, especially some of the pyramid ones can take you up to 25 minutes to complete because you're searching around and you're, you're listening to the history and everything, especially one of my favorites that I've got to see so far was the, the one that you learn all about, you know, mummies and things like that, and the pyramids were really, really fun to watch. So obviously there's also a timeline here that lets you go into kind of uh, some of the things that have happened uh, throughout the history of ancient Egypt as well. This is its own separate mode, so there is its own separate area. You can take pictures, photo mode, and all that kind of stuff uh, that allow you to kind of go through here. Learn about the deserts, learn about just pretty much everything that you can think of throughout the game. And uh, hopefully you'll be interested in seeing more. So this is a short video, but an introduction into what the discovery mode is in general. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.